Hey guys, how's it going? Today I am doing for you guys my very first water marbling nail. Well, not my very first. I mean, I've been working on it for two darn days. It took me two days to figure this out. Watched so many YouTube tutorials and it's very finicky. <laughs> this technique. It's so nice. The payoff is definitely worth it. Um, it's just a lot of trial and error. So let's get straight to the tutorial. You guys can see how I did it and then I'll give you my kind of final tips and tricks when we come back. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we're starting off with just the basic prime nail here. This is just two coats of Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear Polish in White on. Um, and they suggest you do that just so you have a nice opaque coat. So if you do end up getting any more sheer colors in your actual water marble, it's not going to show your natural nail underneath that the white's going to be it's going to provide a bright overall effect for everything so i just wanted to show you guys how i'm taping the nail because um it was a little tricky process so i wanted to figure uh, i figured i'd show you guys what i did because i kind of made a bit of a process out of it you can successfully cover your fingers with about i would say three pieces of tape so first off i want to take one piece i'm going to anchor that at an angle just underneath my nail so it's coming out more to one side like that and then just kind of pivot it around to come down to the side of my nail okay and then just tape it right down and you can always take like a, uh, a manicure tool or just a toothpick and it'll help to kind of push it in to any of the crevices and you want to make sure that you get these corners here just kind of pinched down so they're a little a little flatter okay and you want to do that on both sides So again, just putting it underneath the nail, out to the side, and then just lining it up along the side of the nail. And I'm just going to buff that in a little bit, just to get it nice and attached. That one's a little too far from the nail for my liking, so I'm just going to reposition. Okay, so I'm happy with that one. Now the last piece of tape you want to use is for the top of the nail bed, which this one I'll make a teensy bit longer, and then just go right across the bottom here. But then my little trick here, so it's easy to take off, is go across and then have a lot of access and just make a tab right there where the, the tape folds back. So you just have something easy to grip to that isn't um, sticky on both sides. So you can pull back and it's not gonna disrupt your pattern. So that's how I taped. Now we're gonna get on to the water marbling. Okay, so we're gonna start the dripping section of this nail art. Uh, the colors that I'm using today, this is e.l.f. nail polish in dark navy, and it's just like a shimmery, really dark, dark navy color. Um, then we have Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear in Blue Me Away, which is a really nice true blue. And this is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear's Bubblegum Pink. And out of all of my experimenting, I found these three worked the best together out of the ones that I used. Um, if you're using a sheer polish, it can tend to look very sheer when you do the marbleized nail. You can imagine that. It has to be fairly pigmented, otherwise it's not going to show up very brightly. So yeah, this is what I've gone with for the rest of the nails, so this is what I'm doing here. So first off, I'll be taking the dark navy and just doing a drip in the water. Now it's very important, extremely important, that your water is room temperature. Um, I gave this a go with hotter and colder water and it just did not work. The nail polish did not spread. Um, I hope you can see that on the screen there. Um, I just dipped the dark navy in and it's starting to kind of disperse in the water a little bit, making a bit of a circle. Okay, and now I'm going to be taking Blue Me Away and doing a drip right in the middle of that. So kind of making a bullseye pattern. Just likes to take its time. Um, but yeah, for the room temperature water, I even tried um, kind of warming up my tap and making it room temperature, but that didn't even work. I had to um, just pour a glass of water and let it sit for like half an hour, 45 minutes until it was actually room temperature and then it, it actually started to work for me. So if they're not kind of spreading out, you can shake the glass a little bit. You don't want to do it too much so you're not breaking up your pattern or anything. Um, and now I'm going to take the bubblegum pink and do that in the middle of the blue. And the bubblegum pink of these three nail polishes is the one that I find spreads the best. Um, it's pretty impressive what this one does. It's actually, it really helps to push the other blues out so you get more of a ring effect. Um, you just want to remain inside the lines 
of your last drip. So there's that one. And then we're finished with this blue. And then we're taking the pink and going right on the inside of that blue. And just let that spread out for a little bit. I'm just going to reposition the glass, see if you can see this better. So I've made kind of a bullseye pattern over here. Now what I'm going to do is take a toothpick and just run through the work I've done here. Whoop. And just kind of make swirly patterns. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so. <laughs> Sometimes this happens when you take too long or probably because I was explaining everything to you guys uh, and I was kind of taking my time, but it kind of broke up. So when you make a mistake like this and it tends to go all over the glass, just kind of blow on it a little bit, wait for it to dry. It's going to kind of form a skin on top of the water. And then you can just collect it all with the toothpick just by spinning it, twisting it, and it'll collect around the toothpick. Okay, sorry, camera malfunction, but literally all you missed was me wiping the gunk off of the toothpick. So now we're just going to start again, <laughs> unfortunately. Sometimes it happens that way, it's a trial and error thing. So we're just going to do a drip of the navy, and I'm going to act really fast, so I'm going to be a little quiet here. Now, if this is your first time doing the marble, it may be a good idea for you to start with two colors. Um, this is kind of a 2020 hindsight deal where I should have done two colors, but I'm already here. I already have all my nails done except for the one. Come on, navy drip. I'm just gonna. There we go. It's a little one, but it's there. Just let that expand a teensy bit, and then. Go back in with the blue. And then the pink. Okay, now quickly before it dries and turns skinny, I'm just gonna play around with it. And there's no exact science to this part. Just mess around and make cool shapes. And then you get to choose where you want to put your nail in, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to turn the cup this way a little bit. So you can kind of see what I'm doing, hopefully through the glass. And I'm going to go for this little area right here. So. Just dip your nail right in there. And you want to just hold it under the water for like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, just until the nail, the skin on top dries up. So just blow on it to help it out. And then you can see it kind of wrinkle on top when it's dried up. So you can just go in with your, your toothpick and just clear all that away. And you can take your nail out. And look what we did! Oh, it's so pretty. Now, we go back and we take that tab that we had made before. I'm just going to hold this piece of tape down. You don't want to take off all the pieces of tape off at the same time because then you could potentially harm your work that you've done. But with the method that I've used to tape my nail, it pretty much tends to come off in one piece. And then there you have your marble nail which is super fun. And I'll put in some really nice pictures at the end here so you can see exactly what I've done. All right, so that's it. That is the tutorial. Um, I guess my final tips and tricks for this one, uh, definitely make sure your water is room temperature. I literally left my water out in a glass for like an hour or two. I was so done with not getting it done correctly that I was like, fine, just sit there, be room temperature. 
whatever. We'll talk in like an hour. And um, my second tip would be not to use quick drying nail polishes like Rimmel 60 Seconds or Sally Hansen Insta Dry, stuff like that. Except for your top coat, that's acceptable. But when you put them on top of the water, they do tend to dry on top of the water faster, just like they do on your nails. So it makes it really difficult to drip um, quickly and then be able to drag your toothpick through it because you run out of time that much faster and it's it's good to kind of take as much time as you can when you're doing the swirling and the dripping just to make sure everything's centered and your lines are being nice and crisp. Um, the third trick I have is a lot of people say to use a white base coat when you're doing your water marbling which is what I did and it did work it worked just fine but if your taping isn't perfect, there is a tendency for the white to show through on the sides. So what I personally would suggest is that you do the lightest color of your uh, marble, like the two or three colors that you've chosen to marble. Just because then if it does show through the sides, then it's going to look a little more natural with the look. And it's not just going to be like, bam, white in the side of your design. Unless your design includes white, then by all means use a white base coat. And my fourth and final tip for you guys would be to drip with both hands because it makes it so much faster. It's ridiculous. Because when you're dripping and you're kind of going back and forth and you're changing your nail polishes. Using one hand can be a little bit hindering. Um, even though you've probably got one, well, even though you've got one nail taped already, you can still kind of drip with both hands and it just makes it so much faster. And it wasn't something that I would have thought about um, until it just kind of clicked and it was like, oh, I'm a human with two hands. I, I guess that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. So that's it for the water marbling tutorial. I hope you guys learned something and I hope this tutorial inspires you guys to try this out because it's a really fun technique and I would really like to see anybody else's color choices and how their swirlies went and all that fun stuff. It's a really cool thing to give a go, so I definitely recommend it. All right, you guys have a good one. See you later, bye.